Hey everybody. Here my client's computer in for service. And I want you to have a look at this here. This machine has these two um, hot soft um, hard drive bays in it for SATA hard drives. They've been there for as long as I've known this machine. And one thing I noticed is they were getting awful hot. Like very hot. Very, very hot. And these have a three and a half inch hard drive inside of them. Now, I unfortunately, do not have the keys to these to take the hard drives out. And it's questionable whether even the client has the keys to them. Um, yeah. Why don't you have a look at the back of this thing? Notice this thing that both these again were getting very hot. Well, there's cooling fans back there, and guess what? They're seized. Both of them are seized. Here's to be expected for made in China cheap fans. That's exactly what they say. They're made in China. Both of them. So we're going to attempt to revive these fans by oiling them. Which ought to be fun. Okay, just pulled the um, stickers off of both of them. And... I can tell these just the fans alone have been very hot. That's kind of an obvious sign. Um, the, the the labels they just pulled right off, and most of the um, adhesive stuff stuck to the fan motor, you know, the back of the fans, and not the actual label itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lube these up and see if I can get them to spin again. Which itself might be pretty fun. I mean, this machine here never cuts off, so there's no telling how long these things have been seized. It's fun. They um, looks like you know the, the, the enclosures themselves look like they're built decently, but they had to skimp on something, didn't they? Why did they have to skimp on the cooling? Is my big question. Uh, I can't aim really good with this thing. Trying to get this, trying to stick my um, thing of oil in there and try to put a drip of oil into the hole. That's proven to be a little bit of a challenge. Let's try again. If I pull these um, power cables out of the way, you might be able to see them a little better. Nice again. These little bitty bearings don't need a whole lot. Uh, there's that. Make sure I don't get oil on anything else, just the um, just the fan bearings and not anything else in here like the circuit boards or something like that. And with my screwdriver I started spinning the uh, fan and try to get some oil to work its way in there. And, it's, and they're already lubing up. Okay, that one's freed up. Well, this in here was really tight. But with the oil working its way in there, it's starting to loosen up a little bit. And there may, may need some more oil. I'll be honest with you guys, something like this, where the fan, you know, operation of the fans is so critical. I mean, you should have ball bearing fans in there. Nothing else. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed these hard drives still work because I'm sure they over they've been overheated several times. Okay, for that upper fan, it's going to let it sit for a little bit. 
Okay, after some excessive wiggling up and down of the fan rotor, I finally got it to free up some. And once the fan runs a bit, that should help it get even better. And the um, one on the left is absolutely fine. So, it's just a matter of plugging these back up and seeing how they work. It's said that um, the manufacturers, the manufacturer of these um, hard drive enclosures, you know, these hot swappable hard drive bays, it's pretty sad to think that they would skimp out on the cooling fans. You know, a vital component of these things. You know, it's, I mean, these hard drives are in these little bitty enclosures. They can't get, you know, access. They can't get nearly as good a cooling as they would, let's say, if there was in the you know, in, the, in the regular chassis. Um, Sad to think that these manufacturers would skimp out on something like that. I'm really amazed the hard drives have not failed. Um, obviously, I believe if they were Seagates, they would be dead by now, but I think this one has Western Digitals in it. Anyways, let's power this thing back on and see how the fans operate. I can get my flashlight out of there too. Alrighty, moment of truth I guess. Just my camera. These dang cables right there in the way. All right, let's start it up. One fan is somewhat spinning. The bottom one is not though. It's like it might need some help. The one up top is actually ramping up a little bit. It's a noise I never heard before from this machine. So I can wedge my finger in there and turn it. There we go. And now these red lights no longer flash, they're solid. The bottom fan is spinning up. Yep, it's pretty typical for these itty bitty fans to fail like that, especially when they're made in China. So at least now they're both working. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask them. Thanks for watching.